what is acceptance and why should we care about it? Essentially, acceptance has two parts to it. The recognition of what is true without resisting what's true. So um, it's important to appreciate that acceptance is not certain things. Uh, I remember a time when uh, I was talking with a friend of mine about uh, his uh, girlfriend at the time and he was struggling with her. It just wasn't happening. More and more it looked like she was drifting away and that's what she really wanted to do. Finally, I kind of threw up my hands. This was maybe 30 years ago and I said to my friend, why don't you just surrender to the way it is? I mean, there's nothing else you can do. And he looked at me with his grim expression and said, I don't do surrender, right? So there is an idea sometimes that acceptance AKA surrender is something bad, you know, that it's a kind of resignation or futility or apathy or helplessness or defeat. And it's actually not that at all, uh, as we'll see as we explore the nature of acceptance and why it's beneficial to a person. We can accept the fact of what is true without liking it, without wanting it for ourselves, or without wanting it for other people. I think of a time that I was uh, climbing Mount Whitney with a friend and uh, it was October and we were young and foolish and didn't know what we were doing. So when it was time to come back down the mountain, which we had climbed through rock climbing it, we came down a gully that was covered in ice because the snow had frozen by October. And eventually um, night um, fell upon us and we ended up sitting on a small ledge sitting on our ropes with our feet uh, in our backpacks, our day packs, uh, wrapped in a space blanket, shivering below freezing. And certainly I didn't like being there, but I had to accept I was there, you know? If uh, I couldn't do anything about it, we were figuring out the best we could do to live through the night, wait for the sun to rise so we could pick our way further down the mountain without risking a life-threatening fall. Um, but we had to surrender to the way it was, in a sense. We had to not resist the way it was, and we also had to see it clearly, that if we kept going at night, rather than spending the night uncomfortably there on the ledge, but living to see the sunrise, you know, if we kept going during the night, we risked not living to see the sunrise. Or, as has been put very eloquently by Reynold Niebuhr, and the variations of this, in the so-called serenity prayer, May I have the strength to change the things I can, the serenity to accept the things I can't, and the wisdom to know the difference.